from awkward to awesome. A real talk on dating app expectations and flirting online. Hi guys, this is Shilpa Raidas and a very warm welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are going to talk about a very fun and interesting topic that is real talk expectations on dating app and flirting online. So I have been on Tinder and I have been on Bumble for quite some time and I have quite the experience to talk to various people on the app. And I have seen the good, the bad and the ugly, trust me. So I am going to set forth my awesome experience on what a girl expects and how a girl expects to see a guy on a dating app. This video is not intended to bring down anyone, but it is just my perspective and probably is going to help you to have a better profile on a dating app. Oh, yeah. In short, okay, and have a better personality and aura there so you can impress girls and maybe not, whatever. <laughs> okay, so actually, you know what? Um, I don't know if you have seen a shot of mine, but it has been the most successful shot on my channel. Has got over 120k views, and for a very small channel, it's like a huge success. A very small channel just now, okay, it's a huge success. So I thought, why not to make something on the same niche, um, on the similar topic? So yeah, let's begin. First and foremost, let's start with a picture. So guys, we do not want to see a picture where your face is very hazy and you have your glares, that's your sunglasses on. And another picture is like far away where again, we cannot see your face. And another picture is with a gang of people and we don't know who you are. Um, certainly do not try to, I mean, just a genuine, genuine tip. Don't put a picture with someone who's maybe more good looking than you because that's going to make you look not so good looking. You're getting me. I mean, you are great looking, but also there comes uh, the truth of comparison here. You're getting me. So stand tall for yourself. You don't need somebody else on your dating profile pic, in short. Okay, so don't do that. Have a clear picture. At least one or two pictures should be like clear. That way your probability of go of getting left swipes is going to be a bit lesser. Like, please don't put actors' pictures and God's pictures for God's sake. Like, God's pictures. Huh? Huh? <laughs> so funny it is. <laughs> so weird, okay? Like, who will see an actor's picture and think, oh my God, this guy is this and then right swipe. Like, dude, like, this is so weird, right? Please don't do that, yeah. Or like pictures of mountains and pictures of animals or pictures of grass and tree. I mean, a lot of shit is happening, yeah, but don't do that. And smile genuinely. Have a nice, sweet smiling pic of yours, you know. All girls like a cute guy with a cute smile. And I think the things that you are into genuinely like that portrays your personality better is good to go okay now let's talk about the bio like i'm a foodie i like to have fun uh, uh favorite uh, what 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 is the trending oh i'm sapiosexual coffee's love <laughs> that's it no that's not details enough at least write a few lines about yourself you know, where you come from or what do you like? What do you like and what do you like in a person as well? So the other person gets a better idea of what you are also searching for. Uh, if you're feeling generous, then, you know, put in a pun or a humor that can probably bring a smile on a girl's face or make her laugh. And that is going to give you some brownie points. Yep. And don't think that it is not cool to write a long bio. Yep. It is very cool to write a precise detailed bio because that gives uh, the other person a good idea of your personality and your aura overall and uh, you being man enough to put it out there is it's a great thing so yeah it's a positive point if you're liking this video you definitely should subscribe to my channel right away i'm going to wait for two seconds while you subscribe okay that's fine 
I hope you pressed on the bell icon because that's very important. Okay, let's move on to the next point. So yes, you do get a match and you want to talk now. Just a hey, just a hi, and that's it. And after that, you have nothing to say, so you write, what's, what's the thing? I think that's become less right now, but still, NM, you say, oh my God, this is like something that I mentioned in my short as well. Um, but I still find it very funny, like, dude, like, no attempts, you know, <laughs> don't do that. That's like so not classy and that's so boring. Uh, you're, you must have experienced yourself the talk dies down very soon, right? Because there's just hey, hey, and there's nothing after that. It's so funny, like that happens all the time. And uh, yeah, so uh, make a conversation, ask genuine questions, uh, try to put in more efforts with the words. Um, you know, all of us have this, uh, all of us have a very good personality where we can actually make conversations. But what I feel is that we are binded or we are blinded by the social norms of trying to not look vulnerable or trying to look cool or trying to look a certain way and be in a certain fashion. So this is what like messes up our entire system, aka our profile. So don't do that, like make genuine conversations. Please recheck what you have written. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, maybe while chatting, things here or there, but in your bio, like, do check your grammar, your spelling. It needs to be in place. It's just a better impression, right? Now, deeper talk. When you want or are getting into a deeper conversation, what will make a guy look attractive? Confidence. <laughs> Very cliched, but is still a very uh, you know genuine factor everybody likes somebody who is confident but there is a thin line between confidence and arrogance so i mean at least be conscious in the beginning that you are not coming out as arrogant it has happened with me a lot of times like i sometimes come out as arrogant because unknowingly knowingly you know and I later realized that, dude, I was the one. I was the red flag. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> was coming out as arrogant, but I took it wrong myself. So yeah, don't do that. And don't make the conversation all about you. I'm not even saying make the conversation all about a girl. No, it has to be equal. If the girl is making the conversation only all about her, that's your red flag. I would stay just don't continue but you know when there is a good vibe going on uh, be open to asking about the likes the dislikes of the other person uh, about you know their life overall things and whatever whatever you feel like asking but be open to asking more questions about the other person's life and be open to genuinely asking answering about yours as well uh, if you feel generous throw in a compliment sometime girls like that and that's also going to work as a brownie point yeah, and uh, you will seem nice. So, yeah, genuine compliments. But if you don't really feel like giving anything at all because that's not who you are, then it's sad for the other person. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but yeah, try giving compliments. And very, very, very important, communication. The communication is if supposedly you are not so into the person or you're not really feeling like it, like you don't want to continue even the chat, then please be very clear do not drop off the person or ghost the person you know and uh, it just gets hurtful sometimes it gets painful um, see no matter if it's a dating app but people do feel okay people feel bad people feel hurt i will be very honest i have Ghosted so many people because conversations they just drop off you know i don't think about like carrying it ahead but i have received like feedback genuinely from even those people that it was not very nice and they felt bad about it and you know, as we mature we realize that yeah these things are not good things to do to other human being right so just be very honest uh, just be very communicative about what you're feeling and if you don't wish to continue um, 
see it out straight don't keep the other person hanging and also expect the same from um the girl if supposedly she is keeping you hanging then don't like don't be uh, somebody who keeps on messaging just get the just get the point and move on and on the flip side if you're interested in the girl then be honest about that as well you know say it clearly uh girls really like that and you know it's a very refreshing uh breath of fresh air in this world of games and mind games and all those things going on so if somebody is like genuinely honest and communicating about it it's like it's very refreshing you're going to be somebody unique then <laughs> from the general crowd so like go for it okay the next point i feel genuinely about it is, is don't be in a rush to ask for the number right away like it's not necessary you know chat for a bit on the app itself the app has all the facilities for calling for messaging even video chats nowadays right so i mean that at least i feel personally that is like uh that is way too fast you know i'll tell you the logic okay uh both the parties must be good parties blah 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 there's no harm right but what is the use of sharing a number with a person with whom you are not going to be communicative or in touch ahead so you don't want to go on distributing your numbers to the whole world right that's that doesn't make sense it hinders your privacy just think logically this point is for you also so don't go ahead doing that you guys form a good bond and would be regularly talking then only exchange numbers that seems more mature and that seems like the right way and if they they needs to be a further exchange then instagram is always there right or whatever app you guys are using and <laughs> this is the self improvement shilpa and me talking now don't waste so much time on these apps like use it for a bit but don't be someone who invests their entire day on this app it's not going to work out that way it's your life is not going to work out that way okay so yeah i'll i'll just leave it to that you understand what i mean to say don't waste your life on it yeah be open to people outside as well that can be your life you know So yeah that's it this is Shilpa Raidas if you liked this video then subscribe to my channel right away i promise i'm going to come up with such fun videos you think there's any topic that you want me to cover uh, then please write down on the messages on the comments i mean to say okay and i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for your time guys i love you take care of yourself Mwah. bye